Good morning, folks. John Pettibar recording on Tuesday morning, which is now the 18th day of April, 2023. Unless the people get out and speak, show up at council meetings, phone their councillors, you got two people. You got a pot belly pig in St. Andrews called Owen McCarran, Pontius Pilate. You got that Laurie Bushy, <coughs> the snot, Mayor Van Guinness for the time being. Those two will decide for. 20,000 residents between the Anakinish County and town. You got Anakinish, you got Willie Cormier, the deputy mayor, you got uh, Andrew Murray, and you got Mary Farrell. She's there worshiping, worshiping at the feet of Lori. Oh, worshiping at that dear God, Lori. You get Andrew Murray, somebody tells him something, he'll go outside and have a cigarette and plant some flowers or something. And you got Willie Cormier as I can't repeat what people say in his name. Okay, but he, he's there. He's in. He there peas in the pod. Okay. Vote with the mayor. Then you have in the county, you have, oh, Mr. Go with the flow from the Punket. As long as he gets his pencil to take off to Florida for a month, month and a half and collect his, collect his um, stipend in as a, as a counselor. You got Donnie McDonald, no more backbone. Till I don't know what. You got uh, Huey Stewart out there. And doesn't even live in his riding now. In district, I'm told. And you have uh, Bill McFarlane. Bill McFarlane. Fancy himself as whatever. Wannabe townie. Okay. You, think you got those two of them. And they're talking about a recreation. The mayor yesterday's talking about recreation. So, mother of God, we have a beautiful... Uh, place in the Harbor Bushy uh, Community Center. There's a lovely fire hall at Monastery, just built and officially opened recently. They take, uh, recently built and recently officially opened in a grand opening last year. They have a lovely community center and people work very hard in Hedderton for as well. There's one or two, a curling club and another center in uh, St. Andrews, the fine people of St. Andrews. Uh, you have a, a multi-million dollar a community center complex opening up in in uh, Punkett. You have uh, Charlie Keaton, I knew, gave $5 million to Millennium Center in Anakinish and cost, I think, $20, 25000000 million to build. There's more money been put in it. There's a big arena. There's, I mean, how many, how many mega recreation? You get the town of Anakinish, let's face it, about approximately 4,300 people, and about half those are senior citizens. So, what? 2,000 plus few hundred of younger people. Do they really need another ice service? There's three, oh, count them, oh, do it, what? Three ice services at town. And so they just, they do as they damn well, please. There's the snot, <coughs> pot belly pig, punches pilot. And unless people, my dear friends, I mean, unless you open your mouth, show up at council meetings, for example, and again, County, the county of Anaganish Council meet tonight at six o'clock in Beach Hill. Less people care to get out, good weather or bad weather. Oh, they're busy with fishing, they're busy getting the garden right here, doing this. If you don't care to get out, it's going to be shoved down your throat. This isn't finished yet. Tories are sneaky. They always have been, always will be. And to a man or a woman, pretty well all the individuals I named are Tories. They're sneaky, and they used to get in their own way around the people. And speaking of that, I have the Nova Scotia flag out. The forced amalgamation, consolidation, dissolution, merge, or whatever you want to call it, of Anakinish Town and County, is just a tin plate. Next time it'll be Geisbro, Miss Valley District Geisbro, forced to take the hand of Mulgrave. Uh, that hot, Port Oxbury would dearly love to have Point Tupper. Stripped industrial uh, tax revenues out of Point Tupper to Reduce the sky high taxes in the town of Roxbury. Uh, merge the town of Hawkesbury and Inverness. Make the good people of in Inverness County pay more for the property tax rates to dilute the high tax rates in the uh, Roxbury. It could be Barrington, Clocks Harbor down in Shelburne, Yarmouth County. It could be Annapolis Royal, Annapolis County. This is just a start. This is not just an Anakinish town and county thing. Uh, with that, I got to go. Stand up and be a herd. I implore you. Yesterday in the United States it was Patriots Day. This morning is the 246th anniversary of the Patriots marching from 
Concord to Lexington. They stood up and were heard. Okay, so stand up and be heard, my dear friends, and get a good breakfast yourself. I have the oatmeal bottle here, and I'm, I'm going to eat my oatmeal shortly. Thank you very much. All the best. God bless. Bye for now.